Melting snow means a lot more water for our local streams and rivers. And this comes, of course, on top of one of the wettest years on record. And worries about flooding have residents in Bainbridge Township and Western Chagrin Falls taking matters into their own hands to protect their properties. Dave Arnold has the story. When a heavy rain comes, the street turns into a river. Caning chairs is retired teacher Larry Nelson's expertise. But he's had to use his hands for tougher duty to save his century old shop on South Street. River swelling into the yards of Chagrin Falls and Bainbridge Township residents. It used to come into the rink up in the snack bar. It would come down the hill that's located across the street. Bainbridge Township enlarged the culvert. The rink owners paying out of their own pockets to dig out the creek behind them to help their neighbors. I'm about three and a half feet below Cedar Road. Right now, the river is pretty slow. But this small creek can quickly rise five and a half feet, bringing debris, tree trunks here. This house, they had to build a concrete wall with their own money to protect their music room from flooding. It was like a river going down the front yard and the backyard, too. Tom Pulteney's been blind since he was 11, but he's felt the flooding water around his piano and the price tag to stop it. So far, 14000 uh, Of your own money? Of our own money, yeah. His wife, Jean, understands the problem. We did get flooded before they put that in, uh, but not anywhere as near as often. We had four times we were flooded between December and May. On the Chagrin Falls and Bainbridge Township line, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. Hey, Dave.